In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an envelope style patchwork cushion cover. It's really easy. It's great for recycling because you can use anything to make your patches and you can use whatever fabric you like on the back. So let's get started. Let's think about those squares. You need to think about what size you want your cushion cover and therefore what size squares and how many you're going to need. Now I'm making a cushion cover that is 24 inches. So to do that, I'm making my square six and a half inches by six and a half inches, and I'm going to need 16 of them. If you're using a different size cushion, then you're going to have to adapt. Now, make up your design, decide how you're going to lay them out, and then our top tip is to photograph it. And then you can start building your patchwork. So I recommend making it in strips. So take your top four and pin them together. Now I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but pin that whole strip and then repeat that for the other three strips that you've got already laid out. And then it's over to the machine to sew all those short seams. So that's with every seam you're going to sew that you want to stay there. We really want to do a little reverse at the beginning. Make sure it's secure all the way along and then a little reverse at the end. Now it's a good idea to use a piece of tape or the, gu the guides on your sewing machine so that you keep accurate. The key to success with your patchwork is going to be accurate quarter inch seams. So repeat that for all of them. And then you're going to have four of these strips. Now you'll see I've got stickers on the back of mine because I've actually used an old pattern book from um, an upholstery shop to get my squares because it's all about being on a budget. But once you've got them made, you want to press those seams open. Now my fabric's quite thick and quite strong. It's designed for making furniture out of, so it's quite difficult to get it to press flat. Yours, if you're making a cotton cover, probably gonna be very easy. But you want to do that for all the little seams that you've made. And then once you've done that, and you've got all four of these strips ready, it's time to start sewing them together. So refer to the photograph you took earlier and make sure you're sewing the right ones together and then line your first two strips up. So make sure you line up those seams and pin those. So you want your seams flat open and you want them lined up perfectly. This is going to mean that you end up with a really good finish instead of wonky squares. So you'll see I'm pinning all three and then I'll apply some pins in between. If you need to do a little bit of easing in, that's okay. Just means you weren't quite accurate with your quarter inch seams. And then over to the machine and sew that. The key thing when you're sewing it, as before, you're going to do a quick reverse at the beginning and the end. And it's just to make sure as you go over those seams that they are pressed flat and that you just take a little care if you've got thick fabric. And then when you get to the end, you're going to reverse again and just tidy that end up. And then you're going to go back to your table and you're going to pin the next strip of four on and then sew that and then pin the next strip of four on and sew that. It's just so that you haven't got the whole thing there the whole time. It just makes it a little bit easier at the machine because you've got a bit less bulk for some of your sewing. And when you've completed that for all of them, you're going to have the front of your cushion. And there we go. So now we can think about the back. Now you could make the back out of patchwork, but I'm just doing it out of a different fabric, just a simple cotton fabric, in fact, like curtain lining. So you'll also notice I've pressed those seams that we've just done, and it just makes it lie flat on the cushion nicely. So your fabric for the back, you're going to cut two pieces. One of them's gonna be 24 and a half inches high, or just measure your cushion front that you've made and do it that size. And the width is going to be for mine 20 inches. For yours, if it's not the same size, just make sure it's a little bit smaller than the size of the cushion front. And then you want another one that's the full height of your cushion front, but for me 12 inches wide, for you half the inch of half the width of your cushion if you've done it a different size. Once you've cut them both out, we're going to make a nice tidy edge. So along one of the sides that is the full height of your cushion, 
you're going to make a little double hem. Make sure you're doing it onto the wrong side of your fabric. So you're going to turn half an inch and then turn another half inch. It just means you get a nice neat edge, you've got no raw edges. And you're just going to do that all the way along that side. You can measure it if you want to be really accurate or you can do it by eye like me. It's entirely up to you. Once you've done it with the bigger piece, you're going to take the smaller piece and do it. So again, you're doing it along the long side, the side that is the full size of the front. Then nip them over to the machine and just sew those hems in place. And then you're ready to actually assemble your cushion cover. So you can see you've got those hems. We're ready. So get the front of your cushion cover with the face up to you. We've got the right side facing us. And then you're going to get the larger of the two pieces you've just made and place it on top. Now make sure it's right side down and line it up with the cushion cover front. And you'll see it covers most of it, but there is still a gap. And then once you're happy you're lined up, you're going to get the smaller piece and you're going to line that up. Only this one is going to be lined up with the opposite edge. Again, make sure you've got the right side facing down and place it on top. And what you're going to see is that overlap that's going to mean you can't see the cushion at the back of your cushion cover and that it stays in. Now, if you feel that overlaps a little bit too big, just take the larger one and pull it out a little bit so that you've got a bit less overlap. Now, I've done an overlap of six inches on my cushion. You might find that a bit much, maybe not enough. It's entirely up to you. But I'm just telling you what I've done for some guidance. Once you're happy with that overlap, it's time to start pinning. And I recommend you pin where they overlap first. So you're getting those edges down and you're going to make sure you get a good finish there. And then pin all the way along that one edge. And then turn the whole thing through 180 degrees. And do the opposite edge because you're smoothing it down. You're going to make sure it's right. And then it's time to do the other two edges. Now, if you have pulled it back like I have, just make sure you pin so you've got a quarter inch seam allowance from the front of this cushion cover. Then over to the machine and just start on one side. You don't need to reverse, you just set off. It doesn't matter which side, just be careful as you go over where you're overlapped because it might be a bit thick. Now, when you get to your first corner, make sure you put the needle down in lift the foot and turn through 90 degrees and then set off again. And you're going to repeat that at each corner. So all you're doing is working your way around, keeping that quarter inch seam allowance and keeping it nice and tidy. So if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up so it spreads to more people. And if you like crafting and sewing and you especially like doing it on a budget, then think about subscribing so you see all my videos as they get released. So as we keep going round, we will eventually get back to where we started. And when you do get back to where you started, it's important that you overlap the sewing. So make sure you go quite a way over where you started and then do a good reverse and then a forward. And it just gives you a nice strong finish. And then back to your bench. And that's my cat. I don't know why she wants to star in this video. I'm sure she'll go. Oh, there we go. So now you just need to tidy it up. So anywhere you pulled some extra fabric out, just cut it off. You just want to leave that quarter inch seam allowance everywhere. So if you've got any extra, trim it off. And then everybody needs to just tidy up those corners. You want to cut off the excess so you don't have any bulky corners. So just trim the corner off. Don't get too close to your stitches. You don't want to cut your stitches. And then you should get a better corner. So what comes next? Turn it out the right way. Now my top tip here to get nice corners, use a chopstick or something similar. It'll get into the corner, but it's quite blunt and shouldn't pop through and spoil them. And once you've got those corners out, you simply need to put your cushion in your cushion cover and you're all finished. 
So I hope you've enjoyed making yours and I hope you've enjoyed watching mine. Good luck and I'll see you again.